In this recording, we'll discuss the movements associated with synovial joints. We have two basic types of movements that happen at synovial joints. We have linear motions and we have angular motions. Um, linear motions, think about what happens at your wrist bones, your carpal bones. They kind of glide back and forth with each other. Angular motions, those are the ones that we're going to focus on. These are going to change the angle between the two parts of the bones. So here we go. Most of these movements come in pairs, okay? You move something one way and then you can basically undo that. Well, that undoing motion, that's a completely different motion. So here we go. We've got flexion and extension. Flexion will decrease the angle between the articulating bones, bringing them closer together. So when you make your muscle, you are flexing. When you undo that, when you increase the angle between the articulating bones, you are extending. Okay, so we can flex and extend your arm. Okay, we can flex and extend your leg. All kinds of good stuff. If you go beyond anatomical position, we call this hyperextension. Okay, um, it's kind of hard to hyperextend at your elbow, but you could hyperextend your hip. Okay, so we can flex, we can move our leg forward, we can bring it back to anatomical position. If you move your leg backwards, that would be hyperextension. Okay, same thing at your shoulder joint, you could flex and move your whole arm forward, bring it back to anatomical position. If you move your arm backwards, that's hyperextension. Okay, so some joints can do hyperextension, other joints not quite so much. If you are super, super extra bendy, that might be a different story. The rest of us, <laughs> however, have, have a little bit of limitations with the hyperextension. Abduction and adduction, so abduction, adduction. Okay. Abduction, you are moving a body part away from your midline. You are being abducted, okay? You're taking away, okay? Adduction, you are adding that body part back towards the midline. Okay. So think of jumping jacks, okay? When you extend out, you are abducting, ABD, okay? When you are bringing everything back, you are adducting, okay? So out and back in. You can even do this with your fingers and toes. So you can spread your fingers. Uh, if you can spread your toes, good for you, huh? I don't really know if my toes do that, y'all. Um, but you can spread them. That's abduction. And when you bring everybody back together, that's adduction. You could, at some joints, also do circumduction. This is a little bit of flexion, a little bit of extension, a little bit of abduction, a little bit of adduction, a little bit of everything, y'all. We're going in a circular motion. You do an arm circles, y'all. You do an arm circles. Um, the distal end of the body part moves in a circle. So you could also do this with your, uh, your hip. Okay, but think about your elbow. You cannot move your elbow in a circular motion. Rotation, um, it's a non-angular motion, but it's so common. We do mention it here with the synovial joints. This one is not a paired movement. Um, you just move from side to side. Okay, you can do this with your head very easily by shaking your head no. Um, you could rotate at your hip and move um, kind of move your toes inwards or outwards. You could also do this at your elbow, or excuse me, that's not your elbow, that's your shoulder, um, but you could rotate your arm, okay? Um, hopefully you're kind of uh, getting the hint that you really, when, we, when you talk about these motions, you need to be very specific about what joint is moving, okay? So this example, um, even though the arrows are way down here, okay? You're rotating your entire hip, okay? This is a hip movement. This is not um, an ankle movement. This is not a knee movement. This is, this is a hip movement, okay? Opposition and reposition are for your thumb and your thumb only. Um, so your thumb is kind of special. Opposition, you are moving your thumb across. Uh, you are opposing, opposite side touching your pinky. When you put your thumb back in place, that's called reposition. You are repositioning your thumb. Okay, and this is literally just for your thumbnail. Okay. 
depression and elevation. Depression, you are moving in an inferior direction. Elevation, you would be moving in a superior direction. So you can depress your jaw. You can open your mouth. Okay, your jaw goes down. Um, when you close your mouth, you are elevating your mandible. It's raising it back up. You can also do this with your shoulders. You can shrug your shoulders up. Uh, up and would be elevation and depressing. The, your shoulders would be moving back down. Okay. Uh, oh, way. Okay. Protraction and retraction. You are moving something in an anterior and posterior direction. So you can stick your jaw out and you can bring it back in place. Um, you can also do this with your scapula. You can bring your shoulder forward and you can move it backwards as well. Inversion and eversion have to do with your feet. Inversion, you are um, rotating mainly towards the midline, so you're kind of lifting your foot up um, towards the midline. Eversion, you're rotating it laterally away from the midline, so you're raising the, um, the outside of your foot. Okay. These aren't super easy to do all the time, but again, these are for your feet only. Dorsiflexion and plantar flexion are also for your feet. Um, dorsiflexion, remember flexion, you're decreasing an angle. This would be bringing your toes up towards your leg, so you're decreasing this angle here. Plantar flexion, um, you are actually like pointing your toes. You're now decreasing this angle instead okay, on the back side of your foot, plantar side versus the dorsal side of your foot. Okay. Uh, do, 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 oops, supination and pronation. This one um, is a wrist or ankle movement. Um, supination, you've got your palm facing forward, right? So you can like hold a cup of soup. Pronation, you have rotated your arm uh, or well, your wrist, I should say. Um, now your palm is facing backwards. Okay. And that's it.